Hello, reformers, and welcome back to Hand of Fate. Now, as you can see, it has been updated once again rather dramatically as we traverse through the halls of the Dealer's Sanctum. And we are now going to be greeted by a very familiar welcoming screen. So, let us get down to business, shall we? It's been a rather long time since I've updated Hand of Fate, but I decided to let the game update a little bit, and, as you can see, we are now in Beta 8, version 1.5, I do believe. So, let us go to the story mode, and as we see here, we still have the King of Plague. And as you see here, they have actually changed things up a little bit, as you can tell. They have given us a much wider description of the various curses and what they look like. So if you want to remove one, I suppose, from a potential healer or whatever you may want to do, then you can do that a lot easier, which is very, very nice to see indeed. So as you see here, in combat on each counterattack, the player inflicts double damage and loses one food. And then, of course, we have time distortion, which means everyone moves faster and receives more damage, which is not great. And then, of course, we can look at the lore, and we can now select him as our opponent. Now, we do want to go to the deck builder, because as you see here, they have changed things up a little bit here as well. We are going to be using all of these, I do believe. So let's just go through here, see if we need any additions to our deck. Depth of Night? Let's add that. Why not? That seems like a pretty fun thing to add. And then, is there anything else here that I need to add? Chain Bomb is amazing. Might want to do that. Oh, and there appears to be numbers on the artifacts. What does that mean? Ah, maybe what that means is how many uses you get once you have acquired the artifact. So, for example, let's just say you get Chain Bomb. You'd only have nine uses of that, which would be quite restrictive, because then you wouldn't be able to use it all the time, and you would obviously have to rely on it as much. But, wow, that seems like a pretty good change, in my opinion. And now, I think we've got everything else perfectly fine here. I'm probably just going to add something that is pretty simple to add. What about the druids? I don't know whether we've done that before. I don't believe we have. Have we? Maybe once. The Lonely Bard. I think we probably want to do that as well. Devil's Choice. Okay, so let's see. What else do we want to move? Summoned. Yes, we definitely want to move Summoned. Can we actually move this out now? Oh! We can move the Curse of Davy Jones out so it's no longer locked. Well, that is very nice to see. Because you know how irritated I was at the Curse of Davy Jones, that's for sure. I'm pretty sure it gives a very nice card as a reward, though, so... Maybe it would be a good idea to keep it if you are wanting to do such a thing. Maybe in an endless run. I think an endless run might suit that quite a bit. So let us, without further ado, start. And of course he will show us all of the cards that... Oh dear, all those injury cards do seem to be rather unfortunate. Do they not? Okay. Now, let's just hope that the dungeon layout is going to be a little easier for us to be able to deal with here. And this is our blessing here. Receive one food for every lizard killed, so I can only hope that we are going to come across lizard men. A lot of them at that. So, Old Graveyard we have come across immediately, and... Oh! That's a very easy token. In an old abandoned graveyard, the restless spirit sense the presence of a blessed soul and remain quiet. You spend a peaceful night, awakening well rested and fully recovered from your wounds. And we have now gained this card's token, which is rather impressive to say the least. Okay. Devil's Choice. As you can see, they've changed the card back on it, or shall we say the card art. And now we just need to choose our foe. I actually want to fight the Four of Scales, so let's hope he actually gives that to us. Yes, there we go. Okay, so now we'll be able to get, hopefully, four food if everything goes to plan. So let's take them out, or at least let's not try to get killed, shall we? Oh, no. Yeah, come on. Okay, I think we might want to focus on the mages a little bit more. Yes, finish it off. Oh, is that me finishing it off? I have no clue, but I was doing something. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, maybe new animations. Yes. 
Oh, oh, I see. There's actually something going on with that. I'm not too sure what it is at the moment. Hopefully we'll be able to try and find out after we have completed this particular encounter. I'd like to try it out against bandits, perhaps, because at the moment, as you can see, there's actually something I'm doing while they are down and not completely dead. So I'd like to try and find out what that may be. Unfortunately, I am taking a little bit too much damage, so I will not be able to do that just yet. And I'm taking way too much damage here, actually. This is definitely not worth it. Oh my goodness, not worth it for the food whatsoever, but there it is. We took so much damage just because I was getting used to the new combat system, or at least it's not really a new combat system as such, but it does have a couple of new animations that I need to get used to. So, as you can see here, three gain cards. We've gained some extra food and some equipment. Helm of Reflection. Ah, that's definitely not something I actually want. So I'm going to be saying no to that. We'll maybe be able to sell it when we come to the next shop. That would be wonderful. So let's see. Where are we going to go now? Am I going to take a chance and miss out on this card here? I think I probably will. Hopefully we'll find the stairs. Oh, no. That is terrible. Oh, that is terrible. Turn back. I don't like going through the river, that is for sure. We are rejuvenating some of our HP as it stands, so I don't really mind turning back in this case. And let's just hope that the stairs are now going to be only one move away. If they're not, then they're going to be <laughs> oh, three moves away, and that's going to be terrible. So, ah, that's what we have here. Hmm, okay. Well... I think we'll probably be selling the helm here. Oh, what is this? Why do they all have icons on? Oh, it's because I can afford them, I suppose? Can I afford? No, I can't afford these. Oh my goodness, okay. Well, I am going to be selling this helm, whatever the case. That gives us 15 gold, which is rather nice. All shops are revealed when entering... Oh wait, I'm equipping these. Yes, I have all of these equipped. That's why they have the icon on. Okay, well that's good to know. Now, let's see. Shall I buy more food? I think we shall. Don't really need the gold for anything else as far as I'm aware, so yes, that will be fine. Very, very nice indeed. And let's try to find the stairs, shall we? Yes, there we go. And Devil's Wager was the other one. Well, that might have been a good idea, but in the grand scheme of things, do I really want to turn back? No. So we're going to go to the sea voyage. And we're not actually going down the stairs any further, so it appears they have added in some new traversal mechanics, which is rather cool. Your journey will take you across the sea. Board the ship. Aha! And now this has changed rather considerably. Traveling mage. I don't believe the stairs will be that way, or at least I don't believe our next entrance way or exit way will be that way, so let's go this way instead. Druids. Okay, so this is new. I don't believe we've come across this. Or have we? You look well accustomed to battle. Would you like to earn some coin? Ask for the details. We are druids wishing to perform certain rituals over the coming weeks. These activities must take place at specific times and places. We cannot risk any interruptions, such as from creatures or bandits. We will pay gold to one who protects us during the ceremony. Oh, well, that is very, very nice. Let's do that. And this card's token is now ours. Great. And we will now continue onward, hopefully, to the stairs. I would really like to get to the stairs here, or at least to the entrance way. Ah, the winding trail. Suddenly a tree falls across your path, blocking the way ahead. The dealer draws you one monster card. Please let it be something easy. Oh dear. Okay, attack the cowardly band for daring to attack you. We only have 62 HP. We are against the Jack of Scales, which is definitely something I am not pleased about. But this is actually a pretty good map. So I'm happy about that. Not so happy about who we have to fight. Ah, wait a minute. I think what they've done is they've removed the finishing mechanics. Is that true? It seems as though they have removed the finishing mechanics. Because instead, what you do is when you knock someone down, you just hit them over and over while they are down to do increased damage. I did think at the time 
when I was using those finishing mechanics, that it was quite overpowered to be able to finish off some random enemy instantly. And maybe it could make a return at some point, but maybe what would be a good idea to balance it is it would take more time to actually work, rather than it being one or two seconds, maybe you could make it four seconds, but I see what you've done here. I see why they have done it as well. Okay, well that's fine. That's actually not too bad. Okay, come on, stun him. Thank you. Come on, do some damage to him. Ah, not going to happen this time. Remember, we cannot counterattack, so I'm really trying to resist the urge to do that. Okay, he's just going to do that. There we go. Come on, deal some damage. No, avoid that. Yes. Okay. Oh dear. Okay, he's going to do his tail smash attack. Oh, there we go. Got to avoid that. That's for sure. Don't want to get hit by this guy. There we are. Thank you very much. Oh, yes. And we gain food every time we take down one of these lizard men as well. So we are very, very well off in terms of our food count at the moment, at least. So I am quite happy about that. And we are drawing one weapon card, which is even better. Let's please... Oh, my goodness. I was just... Uh, oh. Wait a minute. I was just about to hope for Frostfang, but it's been nerfed. As you can see here, it has been changed so severely that it only has 20 damage now. But, this is what makes me a little bit worried. Oh my goodness. Are we going to be using this? It does 5 less damage. But we can shoot a cone of ice. I think we'll do it. Just in case we come across something that has a weakness to ice? I don't really know. But here we have arrived at our destination. And it just so happens to be an exit portal. Okay. So where is this going to take us? Enter the portal. Aha. Oh dear. This has taken us not to a very good place indeed. Oh no. This is not good. Okay. I have a feeling that the stairs are going to be behind me. So I'm actually going to go this way. Oh dear. A winding trail once again. Okay. Three of dust. One of lava golems. Oh okay. That's actually not too bad. Okay, let's do it. Why not? Maybe I'll get another weapon card. That would be quite nice. So, oh, the same map as well. Okay, that's fine. Now let's use our cone of ice. It actually freezes them. What? It actually freezes them for a couple of seconds. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, that is really cool. And they've made the graphic a lot better for the recharging animation as well. So let's do that. Again? <laughs> oh, yes. I'm liking this. Oh, yes. That is amazing. No wonder it's been nerfed. The damage alone is not enough to give you more utility in terms of stunning every opponent in front of you. That is so good. Okay. Okay, well, the only thing I can somewhat try to do is try and stun this guy. Try and do a lot of damage to him before he breaks out. And then move away, of course. Take him down. There we go. And now we want to take this guy out as well. Or at least we want to take him out as quickly as we can. So let's just try to avoid that. Go back in. Do more damage. And take him out. Wow. Okay. I gotta say that this is actually a very nice change to Frostfang. Because before, if you remember... Wow. We're getting two game cards as well. Five food? And 25 HP? Really? Wow. We're getting some really good luck here. And... Do forgive me. Okay, so yes, I just changed a few of the graphic settings there. I do apologize if the recording was interrupted a little bit there. I think maybe it did because it may have had to refresh. Who knows? But yes, hopefully it is now recording again and we can head onward. And I was correct about thinking that it would be behind us. So we are going to be using it. We have 20 food, but I think I would probably just like to head on. I don't really want to... Dilly dally shilly shally, as it were. So, let us continue. Trading post. Aha, this is new. Okay. You reach a trading post in a distant valley, run by a strange old woodsman. I've not much use for gold myself, but I'll trade you for food supplies. Let's make this sporting. You give me the food, and I'll give you something from the back, where I keep the good stuff. Oh my... 
Pay 12 food for a random shield, armor, or helmet. Oh, do I want to? No. Decline it. The old man shrugs, then wanders into the back room. No, I do want the token, but so far, so good in terms of us being able to even survive this particular encounter with the King of Plague. So let's just try to keep as high as possible in HP and food, of course. Oh, thank God you're here! A merchant leaps out of the bushes. Some bandits attacked my cart and I hid in the trees. Please accept this food as thanks. You gain some food. Please give me three or more. Yeah, there we are. Thank you very much. Okay, three or more. Exactly. Okay, now we can head onward. Oh no, the winding trail cards. They are teaching us a lesson, are they not? Okay. Three of mages, four of skulls. Okay. Well... I think we'll be okay. Oh dear, the mages might have been changed. They might have been changed, as well as the skeletons maybe as well. Okay, well who knows, but I'm going to do as much damage as I can to these guys. Hopefully they don't have their shields anymore. Oh, they don't appear to have their shields? They don't seem to be able to shield themselves. Oh no, they are. They are shielding themselves. <laughs> Rather considerably. Okay, let's try to stun these guys. There we are. Nice stun right there. Have I taken any damage so far? A little bit. Not bad. Try and take out the skeletons a little bit more as well. Try and avoid that if possible. Thank you. Yes. Yes, it appears that the finishing move... See, there you go. There's the finishing move. And we actually did a rather considerable amount of damage. Enough to take out the skeletal gunner. But do bear in mind that you are incredibly weak as you are doing it. And probably quite vulnerable to any counter-attacks. So that's exactly why you need to be very, very cautious. And, of course, be worried about the mages being able to teleport away from your current position. Oh, my. Okay, what's happening there? I took four damage over time. Oh, my goodness. Wow, I actually took 20 damage just from being hit by the mages' spell. So that's actually good to know. Okay, well, we can take out the final guy. We didn't lose too much HP, or at least we lost... Quite little in comparison to our first encounter. I am a little bit more used to the combat system now, so hopefully enough, we'll be able to make it to our destination. Ten gold. Okay, not too bad. We might be able to purchase some additional food. I'm going to go this way. Maze of traps. Am I going to go that way? I probably should not have gone that way. That was a bad decision, I think. You found a goblin treasure cave. Will you enter? Yes, we will enter the goblin treasure cave. Why not? Okay, let's do it. Frostfang in hand, shield, merchant's ring, everything ready, let's do it. There we are, thank you. And now we can avoid that. Now let's avoid this. Okay, calm. Do this calmly, do this calmly. Oh, nope, wasn't as calm as I should have. Yeah, as well as that. Oh my goodness, whoa, that actually does a lot more damage than it used to. Okay. Yes, they've made this a lot more deadly by the looks of things. Now let's just roll, roll, and there we go. Thank you for the treasure. Oh yes, goodness me. That was quite tense, actually. I thought to myself, hmm, am I going to get stunlocked by that trap and get killed as a result? Oh no, that would be terrible. So we have Shield Breaker, Scorching Zeal, and Skeleton King Shield. I think considering we already have... A pretty nice weapon. You can see here what this does now. And they've actually made it a lot easier as well to see what kind of traits it has too. That's pretty cool. A shield bash can kill regular skeletons and stun other targets. That is pretty impressive to say the least. Let's see what the others do. This weapon has a fire aura that decreases quickly. Aha, it also does holy damage as well by the looks of things. So that means it does more damage to skeletons. And you can perform a devastating attack, ignoring the opponent's blocking action. Okay, I'll go for the Skeleton King Shield. I think if we come across any more skeletons, then this is going to be really, really good. So hopefully we'll be able to make it work. Oh my. Did they really do that? Did they really give me Hag's Wraps? Oh, you know what I'm doing. Each strike inflicts a curse, slowing and weakening your opponent. One of the best cards in the game, in my opinion. And, of course, now we have this, which requires us to choose which cards to put on the top or bottom of the deck. 
And we are going to be putting these on the top because I really want to get the Rat Cleaver before we approach the King of Plague, if at all possible. What does this do, by the way? I don't even know. Okay, I can't even check. So, top it is. There we are. Thank you very much. Okay, so let's continue onward. Dead King's Hall. Okay, that's actually not too bad. I added this in because it is usually easy. Ah. Is it? I'm rolling my eyes at the moment, trying to remember. Attempt to take them by surprise. Oh, dear. Oh, this is not good. Or is it? Is it good? It is good. Huge success. Oh, my goodness. Suddenly, you leap into the fray, taking one of them down before they can even react. Choose a monster to discard. Okay, let's choose the Lich, because that's quite annoying. Yeah. I'd rather fight the Jack of Skulls mano e mano, rather than attempting to take out a Lich that teleports all over the place. Look at that! Do you see this? Do you see that? Did you see what happened? Oh my goodness. I know that he's reviving them and everything, but did you really see that? That was so incredible. Okay, look at that. I can take them out with regular shield bashes. That is insane. And for some reason, he seems bugged. Or at least he seems as though Hag's Raps is doing its job a little bit too well. Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay. I think we've constructed a pretty strong warrior here. Increased health. 30 gold. We're coming across a shop soon as well. And we're also getting... Oh, yes. We're also getting the armor. Once per encounter, the player may choose to discard randomly drawn monster cards and draw again. That's actually a pretty strong stat. So hopefully it will work out well for us in the grand scheme of things. And we have reached our destination, which is another sea voyage. Okay. I do not want to just yet. I'd like to head to the shop first, if at all possible. Thank you very much. We have 16 food still, 44 gold. Now, <laughs> what's funny is that we have... Oh dear, we're going to be ambushed by three of mages. Okay, that's not too bad, but yes, what's funny is that we already have Hag's Raps, and usually when we come to this particular point in the playthrough, I am always like, oh yes, I'd really like to get Hag's Raps here. But yes, apparently that does not actually matter too much, considering we already have them. So let's see what we can do about taking these guys out. Yes. Oh yeah, take him out. There we go. Look at this. We've got some pretty nice armor on as well now. We look pretty spiffing, if I do say so myself. Where has the mage gone? Oh, there he is. Okay, I'll probably go around here to ambush him from the river. He will never see it coming. Well, he kind of did, but still. Ooh, lovely. I gotta say, they have made the Skeleton King shield into something that I am very pleased to have acquired. It is so powerful versus skeletons. One bash, and they are killed and out of the fight. That is so good. Okay, well, we were ambushed on our way to the shop, which is definitely unexpected, but I suppose not unwelcome. It's rather... Exciting, to say the least. Okay, so let's take a look what we can get here. The player receives 50% more healing from consuming food. That might actually be a good idea. On every weapon ability usage, all bandits are stunned for three seconds. Whoa. Every... Wow. Every bandit killed nets the player two gold. That's actually pretty good for making money, that's for sure. Oh, that's cool too. Okay, I have no clue. I really want to make sure that we have enough food. So maybe what we should do is sell my old equipment as much as I can at least. Get as much gold as I can and then see what I can buy at that. That seems to be a good idea. So 53 gold we have. And let's see. If I want to buy the Ring of Gluttony, that will be 30 gold. Now let's just take a look and see how much this is. Ah... Okay, I'm going to fold here and be a little bit of a chicken. I'm going to be purchasing the 10 food for 30 gold. 23 gold remaining, so I do believe we are going to be purchasing fool's gold. Yes, that is the only thing we can 
actually wear at the moment, and I think that's okay. We'll replace our current helm, the Crown of Insight, or wait a minute, the Crown of Hindsight, with that. I believe this is going to be rather useful. Okay, that is fine. That is good. So, let us go back to the Sea Voyage. We have 25 food. We have a pretty reasonable amount of HP. And I'm very hopeful that this will be the run that we destroy the King of Plague. So, let's head this way. Demon Trader 4. Oh, no. Okay, well, we don't have two blessings. So, unfortunately, I will not grace you with my excellent demon voice. Or at least... I think it's excellent. <laughs> I'd like to think so. So now, let us... Yes, we will decline him, unfortunately. And which way do we go? Let's go this way. Ah, the Holy Forge. Hmm, unfortunate. Okay. I was hoping that we would actually come across the stairs here, because you know how devious they can be sometimes with the placement of the stairs. You never know where it might be. Blood Auction. Hmm... Not too sure whether I want to bid blood in this. I am actually going to leave, because even though we could get a token, I think it's probably more worth it to head onward. And as you can see, this is exactly where we wanted to go, so we're just going to continue onward. Oh dear. This is not good. Okay, I'm going to go this way, because I have a feeling that he might be this way. Oh, goblins. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's do goblins. Why not? Okay, three of goblins, and there is going to be something else joining them? No? Oh, usually a lava golem likes to join them, but yes, they've stolen a lot of my food and various other things such as my frost fang. So I'm going to try and take this guy out first. There you go. Is he down? I hope so. And now we just have to deal with these guys. Now, I am going to attempt to stun them, as you can see with my shield. And I'll be back for that guy. I just want to stun this guy. There we are. Oh, wow. He was not stunned for that long. Okay. That guy is quite the beast. Okay. Come on. Take him out. Take him out. Yes. Okay. We've taken him down. And now, hopefully, this guy will not have the courage to summon a portal. And I'll be able to take him out. There we go. Excellent. So we've actually gained a pretty considerable amount of gold. And our food is back to the regular status there. So that's actually not too bad. Quite nice. Okay, so let's head over here. Noble Trader. Ah, he's going to offer me some money for Frostfang, but I am going to be declining this time around. Okay, Embertown Hero. Unfortunately, I do believe I have to do this, because if I ignore him, I get cursed. So let's ask him his troubles. Yes, I'll try and find those jackals. Oh, this is not good. Okay, let's... Ah, lovely. This is the King of Plague. Wonderful. Okay, so as you can see here, it states, The most dangerous Ratman known. The Ratman King has a leap attack. That must be avoided if you want to keep the skin on your bones. Only the most savage and cunning of the Ratmen rise to royalty among their ranks. Okay, so I will not be able to do the Embertown Hero, that's for sure. And instead, we are going to be attacking the King of Plague. Let's hope that he is in a better map than last time. Yes, he is. Wonderful. Okay, that's actually unblockable attacks. So let's be a little bit more cautious about him. Okay, let's take out these guys if possible. Oh my goodness, yeah, he does have Shadow Clones, remember. He has a lot of teleporting abilities. And I can only hope that I will be able to deal as much damage as I can. Oh, wow. Okay, I don't believe I can block that. The only thing I can do, I suppose, is just deal as much damage to his minions as I can. And hopefully, once I've taken them out... No. Yes. Once I've taken them out, I'll be able to focus on him entirely. And I'll have a very good chance of being able to win. No. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Avoided those. Excellent. Excellent. Oh, I'm trying to avoid that. Yes, there we go. And there we go. King of Plague has been defeated. Excellent. Exactly what we want to see. And look at me. Oh, my goodness. Look at our character. He looks absolutely jaw-dropping right there. Oh, my... Okay, well, there it is. The King of Plague has been defeated on our first run back. That is great. That is very, very nice to see indeed. And we can now activate our various tokens here and see what we get. 
For bringing blessed peace to the old graveyard, we receive spiritual healing. And what else? For agreeing to protect the druids' rituals, we receive summer solstice. I do believe we have actually seen that before. And this is, of course, for defeating the Ratman King. And we're going to be revealing all of these cards. Folded Steel? Okay, I don't know what that is about. Folded Steel sounds cool. Soldiers for Raw. King of Scales, which I do believe is very, very difficult indeed. And Secret Society. And we will be adding all of those cards to our deck. Would you like to use a recommended equipment and encounter deck? No? <laughs> I have no clue. Yes? Okay. Your decks have been updated. Shall we see? Shall we see what they've actually done to my deck? Automatically? Because you know what my deck was like. It was actually pretty good, I thought. But let's just see, shall we? And we'll also take a look at the abilities of the King of Scales. Hungry Blades. Whenever a weapon ability is used, the player consumes one food. Ouch. Skin Rash. The player draws from the pain deck on every fourth step. Ouch. That's gotta hurt. Okay, we'll select him. Deck Builder. Let's take a look at what they have actually selected for me right here. So, we don't have any of these. We don't have Rat Cleaver, Thunderstrike, Mortal Whimsy, Huge Hammer. I love the Huge Hammer, though. That is so good. Isn't it? Wait, maybe they've changed it. Oh, it's unknown. Oh, well. Hmm, that's a little bit strange, is it not? Okay, well, let's not take a look at the equipment just yet. I think we should probably take a look at the encounter cards, because these might be a little bit more balanced. Wow, can we actually randomize this every single time? Because I think if we could randomize this, this might actually turn into a very interesting development indeed. But even then, randomizing such an important run, such as the King of Scales, would be quite difficult to say the least. So maybe not? Maybe not. Because this is the final boss, believe it or not. This is the final boss as far as I'm aware. But who knows, they might be making some additional opponents at some point. So, without further ado, I will be ending this episode of here, and next time on Hand of Fate, we will be attempting the King of Scales. So, I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.